Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I will show you how to draw wheat in other Illustrator in this tutorial. Thank you, Eduardo, for suggesting this topic. And if you have any question, you can leave them in the comments or come to my live stream. I live stream every week. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. I will turn the grid on and I'll turn on snap to grid. <laughs> let's grab the pen tool and just draw a spade and then uh, we'll use the direct solution tool to move, move this anchor point. So now we have this diamond shade. I'll also move these a few blocks down. Okay, maybe this a little bit more. Does it look better now? It does. All right, then I will select these two anchor points and click on convert selected anchor points to smooth. All right, I'll move the handle up here. Move it down here. So we just get a, a rounder a curve on the side of our grain. This is the basic shape of our grains. Now I can turn the snap to grid off and also hide grid. We can scale this down and we can give fill it in and fill color in there. That is the uh you know the ripe weed color which one should it be a little bit golden with this yellow then i will apply a radial gradient in the wheat and see now the color is gone and then so we need to grab this color over here in the color guide and drop it into into the gradient stop we will just the size of the gradient down a little bit and move the center of the gradient to the belly of the grain okay now let me duplicate okay, the grain. Let me rotate it for 30 degrees. I will rotate this for minus 30 degrees. Then I'll put it over here. And I'll move this center grain to the front. Group it. Then let's make copies of the grain. In my example, they, they have eight thin dark gray outline or black outline some of the grains gradually become smaller down here so let's scale it down and to rotate it a little bit you know make it a little bit messy and also these two it can also go in and i'll also scale the top one down Like that and we can also pull some of these out you know just to make some variation at the tip of the wheat grain they have these hair how do you call the these hair structure arista okay so this is called arista actually profile four is better you see now the stroke become really thin at the at the end i will use a dark brown and here one point white is good darker is better yeah i agree put it here and drag to make the copy and then reflect it vertically and place them here so normal right then we get this one and in the example that i get they are firm and pointy so i'm doing the same and if you decrease the degree of the curviness then it will create a very sharp standing arista then we can add a stem i'll make a straight line and uh let me increase the thickness i will Go to object, expand, expand stroke. So now I can add an outline to the stem. 0 0.5. I will add a linear gradient inside of the stem. So this location goes to 50%. And then this one, drop it in here. So now you get a little bit of volume in the stem. Uh, select the stem and then 
expand only fill let me see yeah now it's better so you see now they are very small delicate shapes okay now let's group everything make a copy and then go to object envelope distort make a warp you're welcome yeah also you can see that now the uh the gradient in your stem is bending along with your entire shape okay and you can just copy them and for this one you want to adjust if you want to adjust the degree of the shape let me see the envelope we need to go to go back to our option and you can bend them to a different another direction like this click okay all right yeah that's how you draw wheat